Hi everyone, Richard here. Currently now I'm out at the park. Uh, it's going to be sunset now. So I'm going to do the super night uh, mode function. So they just I just had a new firmware update this morning. And uh, it's additional uh, super night uh, scene for this. Uh, and it works for 6K and 8K as well as uh, uh, 4K, right? So we're going to test this out. I'm going to cycle and try to get the sunset before it sets and then we'll do the night one comeback. It's already super night, I'm already set it on super night now, on 8K 25P. Let's try to see how's the video. And uh, let's get on the bike. So the, the Osmo 360 is uh, mounted on my handlebar. So it will be a bit shaky. So, Hopefully the stabilization able to uh, catch up because of low light. And uh, I hope my face is in focus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, good thing about 360 is uh, you can get it from the front and the back. So now the mo only worry about the wind noise because I put the mic mini here. And uh, when I keep it on my specs at wind noise when I'm cycling, so let's see how's the wind noise uh the mic itself the four mics from the osmo 360 is great without even without the mic mini the osmo uh does a very good job of uh, noise cancellation because of the four mics so that when i did the zip line you couldn't hear the wind noise surprisingly so actually it was better than the, using the clip on mic uh maybe my location i really need to put and maybe put a, a dead cat there when i'm cycling but the mic itself on the osmo 360 is great so i have no problem with it sounds good but just that when you use the pole the invisible pole and you put it very far away from you you can't get your voice so you still need to use the yeah, the sunset is there. It's going down. It just went down. The sun was there. So I'm trying to get hold of this. I think it's a bit too bright. That's why the super night mode is very, very bright actually. I did it twice. I waved my hand and it stopped recording. So, <laughs> so be careful when you wave your hand uh, when you're talking to this camera. Because if you wave it and then you study or you say uh, voice command, suddenly it will stop. So you got to be careful about that uh, when you're on those gesture controls. So again, uh, it's getting down. Uh, we'll get, do a cycle maybe to the other side and then only go back. Let's have a look at how the video will go. So it's getting darker now. It's about 7.30. Okay, the house in front here. This, I'm not sure it's the house or it's a resort or something. Such a beautiful, beautiful one. Very nice. If it's, I don't think it's a house. I'm not sure if someone is living there, but such a beautiful house. Look at the house. Look at the front yard. So well lighted. Look at that. Let's, let me show you. Sorry. Look at the front. So well lighted. Such a beautiful place. It would be nice to have a house like that. <laughs> but the cleaning up will be terrible. So <laughs> I, I'm not going to clean up the place. <laughs> anyway, so we'll keep going. Uh, it's really, really night now. So I'm running the super night uh, scene mode. Why do you call it scene? Anyway, super night mode. And uh, hopefully the video comes out really nice. And uh, it's pretty getting really dark now. So you can see all the lights. And that's the bridge. This is the part where I may want to take picture. Uh, this is a nice place to take picture though. Let's see if I can. Let's get a 360 from here. Right, so let's do a 360 from here. I don't get to see the full bridge though. 8K25 is very nice for us because uh, we're running PAL system, our lights are on 25, uh, 50 hertz level. So the light frequency for 25 frames and 50 frames, uh, we don't have that flickering. But if I use 30 or 60, you'll see the flickering. So we're running on the 
rappel kind of system anyway so being a uh, oh, nice bridge British colonial uh, Commonwealth country so let's keep going and uh, it's uh, evenly light up on the pathway with the uh, street lamps only certain parts will be darker so we'll see how the image quality will come out and uh, well, all the bugs are hitting me while I'm talking I yeah, hope some of it don't go in my mouth anyway again uh, <coughs> it's just a test unit there's an external tester and feeding bag so <coughs> DJI is really doing a lot of work hopefully uh, <coughs> the new updates firmware will make this better I did I tried it in the pool but uh, I don't have a dive cave case so you need a dive case when you go into the water because uh, <coughs> the magnification of the water makes the focusing out of play so you need a case to help you uh, align back the focus <coughs> oh <coughs> the amount of bugs <coughs> it's just like those bugs on your windscreen yeah it's all over my face <coughs> and my specs <coughs> yeah so you can see so dark at night now and uh, so we shall reach the end when we reach the end we shall end this okay that's all so do give me a thumbs up and uh, share this with anyone that you think they may be interested in 360 i'll see you on the next video and this is the testing of the super night scene i call it super night mode so it's 8k 25p frames per second and uh, we'll test it on the steering bar on the bike as well as my helmet i'll see you have a nice day bye